Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. Those of you that are new, my name is Michelle, and we're going to do something really fun today. So we're going to do a tray, but I'm going to make it so that I can put it on my patio table. This is a plug that I made out of silicone, and this is where the umbrella is going to go down through. This is a little plug for um, if I wanted to put a solar light so that at night, you know, the little village would show up. So what I'm going to do is it's going to be fairies and gnomes. And I've only got one gnome right off the bat, but I can always add to it. So I've got this little house. I got this at the Dollar General. And it was only three dollars. So we're gonna I'm gonna put this in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of place what I'm going to use, and then I will take that off, and the bottom is gonna be sand and greenery. And then I got these also at the Dollar General. These are just like some little botanical. So I'm going to cut the stems off, and we're going to use these. I know I want to use these. So I'm going to put those here. And then on Amazon, I got a whole box of little tiny um, little pieces to add to a village. I also have... I've got to find it. I have a box that has little animals in it. So I will find that in a moment. Then I got these little fairies at the Dollar General. They were just a dollar. I'm going to put at least one of these in. And then I have one little gnome. So I'm going to put him. I have a sign. And this one says Enchanted Forest, Gnome Homes, and Fairy Lane. So I figured it would incorporate the two, so I definitely want to use this sign. But other than that, I don't know. And then I got a bag. They're just different plants, little trees and stuff. I got this on Amazon. It was just, um, it's a big bag like this, and it's just different things. I also got these at the Dollar General, so I don't know if I'll use these or not, but I have them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build like what I want and where I want things. So, and then there's little pawns. So let's see. I want the house here. And I definitely want to use this in here somehow. <coughs> so this might. And I don't want to overfill it, but yet I want it to be, you know, have some stuff in there. So, let's see. Because I almost want to make it. So there's like a little path going to the house, but I don't know if I have enough little pieces to do that. So let me open this and see actually what this is. Oh, it's a little well house. Okay. It comes, it's two pieces. All right. So. I think that would be cute. We're going to put put the well house. Yeah, maybe we'll put the well house over here. So they have to they have to go get it. And 
<laughs> my little gnome and my little fairies are bigger than I thought they would be. <laughs> so let me get my snippers and start cutting some of these like little hedges and stuff. So I'm just going to snip the bottoms so then I can kind of just set them in the resin. So what I'm going to do is I'll set them upside down just so they know they'll stay. Actually, no, we have two of those. We're going to put one on each side of... Oh, no, we can't do that because then how are they going to get off? Michelle, what is wrong with your brain today? I don't know. Maybe we won't use a walkway. All right. So I guess we can put a little bush by the little well. And... Snip that. We'll put one bush by the house. I don't know if these snippers are going to cut this big. I might have to go get my big ones. Yeah, these are not going to do it. Oh, let's see. Let's see. These ones my husband gave me. These ones should be a little bit more rugged. Well, I might have to have my husband cut those. <laughs> I don't have the strength. So let's just kind of get a few other little trees in. one here. I'm just kind of trying to figure out like what is going to be in there. Oh, and so before I forget, um, I did have somebody that had made a comment that my videos were showing upside down and I apologize. Like I said, I'm still new at doing this. So I've changed my camera angle and I hope it is better. The only thing is now it's right like at my head height so I might bang it periodically so I apologize in advance for that all right we'll put that here all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where everything's going and I will mix up some resin and I will be back Okay, guys, so I am back, and I've figured out what I'm going to use. I am not going to use the big succulents, because while I was placing it, I had a couple more ideas come to my head. So, I did find my little um, little squirrels, little, I don't know, foxes. So, it came in a box like this. I got them on Amazon. There's leaves. There's um, all different, like he's climbing a tree. Uh, this one is, he's sitting on an acorn. So there's all kinds of different ones in there, but I am going to use these two. A little fox and a little squirrel. And... I ended up changing where I was placing my stuff because the sign says gnomes that way, fairy lane that way. <laughs> so I had to put the fairy on this side. So what I'm going to do is I mixed up seven ounces of resin. I know it's going to probably be too much, but we'll just, I'll figure out something to do with the extras. So. What I'm thinking, I'm going to pour a thin layer in the bottom, add my sand, and then 
we'll go from there. And I also got these um, glass crystals with, I think I got these at Michael's years and years ago. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put the sand in and then we'll start like placing our stuff and I can adjust the resin at that point. And I did just kind of brush out the mold a little bit, but I was like, that doesn't matter because that's going to be the bottom. Normally, we're doing them upside down, but for this particular piece, this is going to be my top. So I didn't have to worry. I just used the resin, um, the casting resin, the one-to-one -one ratio by Let's Resin. I didn't take the bubbles out because the sand is going to hide it. So, yeah. We're just going to start getting some poured. So I just kind of want to have a thin layer on the bottom. I will take a silicone spatula thing and spread it around. And I know I have a spatula in here. Uh, Cause I saw it the other day. I keep forgetting that I have these, and this one's got glitter on it. So let me just kind of wipe it off. <laughs> All right. All right. So I just want to make sure that I get it all around. And if I need to mix up more, I will just mix up some more. So I want to take time to thank all my new subscribers and all my other subscribers. I so, so appreciate all the, the comments and suggestions. It, it does make... A, a big difference because I'm still new at making videos. I'm used to doing more lives than videos. So, you know, it's a bit of a learning curve. I'm getting there, but you know, everything takes time. You have to learn what you're doing wrong and everybody has been really nice. Just because I can't see on that side, so I just want to make sure that. And if a little bit seeps under, <laughs> I can just clean that up with my X Acto knife after. So I'm not as stressed as I was when I did the Solar Turtle. If you guys haven't seen that one, it's a couple back in the videos. All right. And like I said, we're going to put the sand, so that's going to, you know, finish distributing it, but <laughs> all right. And this is just a bag of sand that I bought off Amazon. And then, of course, I'm going to be putting more sand over the top. All right, let me spread that around. Get that all mixed into the resin. I just figured by putting a clear coat on the bottom, it will just kind of ensure that there's gonna be like no big bubbles under there, I'm hoping.
So I definitely am going to be mixing up some more resin here. Because <laughs> sometimes when you, you put your sand in, you end up like with way too much and you have all this extra and that's what I was trying to avoid this time but I can tell I'm gonna probably need another six or seven ounces so let me go ahead and get that mixed up and I will be right back Alrighty guys, so I ended up making up eight ounces just so in, make sure I'm on, you know, I have enough. <laughs> I'd rather have extra than have to make it again. You know what I mean. I just figured the sand would displace more of what it did, but... And I'm hoping the sand helps not get the resin underneath this little plug that I made. You know, and then I've still, I'm still going to be adding the other stuff to it. So I just want this like completely encased in the, the resin. I don't want any dry sand anywhere. So I think this is going to be cool once I get it done. I hope. <laughs> And I, I want it to be like a thicker, like slurry because I figured my little things would stick in it better than if it were um, just really thin. And I this is my first attempt at making this, so it is a learning curve. We will see if it works or if it don't. All right. I just kind of tapping. I want to make sure that there's no like dry sand in here at all. <coughs> and I definitely feel like I've got some areas thicker with sand than the other, but that's fine. Because once I start adding my pieces, we'll be pushing sand around anyways. I just wanted it to have a nice, sturdy bottom base, if that makes any sense. I definitely want a little bit more on the edge. But you can see how that sand is nice and thick underneath. That is exactly what I was hoping for. All right. So I think I have got all the dry sand wet at this point. I'm hoping. All right. And I'm hoping that once I get everything situated, I can pour the rest of the resin in and maybe not get any floating. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> All right. Let me just clean that off. 
All right, so we're going to start placing our objects. All right, so I wanted this kind of there. And I know I want the house. Um, kind of in the back here. So I'm just, I'm submerging it so that it's kind of in the sand as well as the resin. And I'm going to put this little tree right beside the house. And this one. All right, I'm going to have to cut more of the bottom. There we go. Because that's where our little light is going to be. And let's see, we'll put... I don't know, I'll wait on that. And let me give this a spray of alcohol just before I get too carried away, just so there's no surface bubbles. All right, so Mr. Gnome is going to be kind of over here. And let me get a small stick. I want the sand to go between his feet, which will help him sit, stay down, I hope. <laughs> and I'm going to put a tree there. And this one I know I'm going to have to trim. So I'm just using wire snippers and snipping that off. Let me try to move that up a little bit. This tree might need to go in where the sand is a little thicker. This one might not work, guys. No. All right, let's pick a different. Just kind of wipe that off. I've got some other um, greenery, too, that I can put in. All right, we want the water well. Stick that right there. And we're going to put her right there. And then we're going to have the little fairy house. I know she's big, but... Stuck in my finger in there. All right, so we want a little plant next to her. <laughs> Put that one there. <laughs> Just put a little bridge, just because. All right, so. I've just got a big bag of like this moss. And I just figured this would be like kind of good filler. I'm trying to move. 
move that so you guys can see. And I wanted to put this on the heat mat and I forgot to put something underneath it. All right, let me see if I can move this up just a smidge, guys, so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. How's that? <laughs> and I hope it's the right direction, guys. I, I'm trying. All right, so I gotta get a few more of those. Oh, these little tree things. So the little ones seem to work a little bit better in this kind of scenario. Oh, oh, and I just thought I have some little flowers too that I can grab. So I got these on Amazon too. And I purposely got these for this project. Because, <laughs> you know, we've got to have some color in here. Some little... I might add some um, dried flowers too. Alright, and these, I believe they just kind of... Yeah, they just peel off. Just so there's like, you know, little tiny bits of pretty flowers. Molo squirrels sinking, guys. <laughs> All right. So let me go back to adding like a little bit of moss. because you know, in the forest there's little little pieces of God knows what sticking up everywhere <clears throat> and I don't really want them to be completely submerged I just want them to be adhered into um, into the forest into the ground the resin whatever Oh, my word. My words are not working today. <laughs> All right. So we got to put Mr. Fox. Let's see. We're going to have him kind of running at an angle. That way he'll get lit up when the little solar light is on. All right. What the? if I have any other little flower things that I could stick in there just to kind of give a little, little bit of, and I don't know if these are a good idea or not, guys, because these are dried flowers, and this is going to be outside, so if it rains, it will probably ruin the, the dried flowers, but I will try to pour epoxy on top of them. I'm only going to put a few oh, just to kind of try it. I don't know.
All right. I'm not going to use too, too many of those. Let's see. Do we have any other funny little tree things in this bag? just a big bag I ended up getting at Michael's so you can you can rip it really easy so I just figured if I can kind of put it around where the umbrella hole is gonna be that way it kind of disguises that there's a hole in it Does that make sense? <laughs> and this is one of those projects that you don't have to like worry about it being clean and all the little debris that kind of falls because it's outside, it's nature. All right, so I am gonna sprinkle in a few of these little um, pebbles or whatever they are, glass pieces. I figured it's just going to give a little, little bit of a, a shimmer. Maybe there'll be, you know, rocks or whatever. So if any of you have done something similar to this, let me know what you did. And if you try it, share it on my Facebook page so that I can see it. All right, I got a few more here. I might as well just sprinkle them around. All right, so does it look like we need anything else? I'm thinking I want that area to, to maybe have a little bit more. Let me see if I can find another tree tall or something that will stay. Maybe this, maybe this one here is a different colored one. Let me see. Yeah, because you want the house to kind of be where it's more foresty, right? Um, so the light is gonna go here. I'm thinking we're gonna put some more of these little flowers in. Sorry guys, if my arm is in the way. So these again are dried flowers, so I will sprinkle a little epoxy on them. Hmm. <laughs> I'm 
Ну, а... Let me get my little pieces. I think I had a stump in the... Where did I put them? I just moved them. I think there was... He has a nice epoxy on him. We're going to we're gonna set him. Oh yeah, we'll set him up on the stump. Is it gonna stay? <laughs> oh, I think that looks cute. All right. I was going to use this, but I changed my mind. Maybe I will, because I was going to put a turtle in that I made, one of my, my little turtles. But I don't, I don't know. we could put one turtle <coughs> and I believe he has a little glow in the dark in him all right so I guess we're gonna leave it so I think that looks pretty good so let me might as well put some resin in in this little cavity since I sat the squirrel in there and got resin in there. All right, so that should hold them. Now, the only reason that I'm putting the resin over these is because these are dried flowers. So, it's just going to help kind of preserve them. I hope. <laughs> so, I am going to see if I can slide something underneath this and get it on my heat mat. Because if not, then I can't do another project till tomorrow when we demold. And I got a new patio table coming. It should be here Friday. We've been wanting to get a pub style patio table and Lowe's was having a 50% off sale. So we decided we'd better... We better get it then. Oh, I forgot some blue flowers over here. So those little blue flowers work, worked really good standing in something like that. So that's a cute little trick and it will just help secure them in there. All right, so I'm just gonna try <laughs> and add some more. I'd like to do this all in one pour if I could.
I mean, even if it's not right to the rim, I don't care, but I want to... I want it to be somewhat thick. Guys, I, I think this is going to be really cute. Ah, my, my fans are sliding. <laughs> All right, guys. We did it. All right. Let's give it a little spray spray. So I will kind of keep an eye on this over the next hour. If I can get it on my, on my curing mat. Hang on, I've got... <coughs> All right, I think I'm going to be able to get it on the cure mat, so I will be back when this is cured, guys. All righty, guys, we are back, and this is done. It's still warm. I just took it off the heat mat, so let me... Oh, my God, I hope this comes out good. <laughs> All right. It is a bit warm, but as you can see, the mold came out really good. All right. Yay, there's a hole all the way through. <laughs> See? Oh, let me get in it. See my thumb? My finger. So the resin did not run underneath, which is spectacular because that means when I put it in the turtle, to do another solar light, it will work. So, this is the tray. <laughs> All right, so let me just, still a little bit bendy. Um, so it worked. So what I'm going to do is I don't have my new table yet, but I'm going to see if this will fit on my spot for my umbrella now where it's still somewhat light and I will try to get some pictures so stay tuned for that and I will, I forgot to grab the solar light with me. So I will get a picture with that in the hole. But overall guys, this was so much fun and it was actually really, really easy. 
So let me know what you guys think. Let me see if I can bring... Sorry about that, guys. I dropped my tablet. So this is looking at it from my standpoint. Look at how cute that is. Oh. And my little squirrel is nice and secure. Oh, I did break my little um, thing. So I will glue that once I find the piece for the wishing well when I drop my tablet. <laughs> so I will, um, I will get some pictures and let me know what you guys think.